Hey guys, I'm Anthony Fidel I'm with the Simple Tire Crew. We are on our way to round four, Formula Drift. My first time going to be there. It sounds and looks amazing. So let's go take a look. So right now it's practice and qualifying. It's kind of hard to decipher the clouds to the smoke. It's uh, it's pretty thick. It's pretty, it's pretty badass. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go watch some cars spin. So it looks like I think a part of this guy's car just fell off. Yep. He's going to need some zip ties and duct tape for that one. I'm here with Paul Joe from Nexon Tires. He is decked out in his Nexon purple. Tell me, you know, in a couple sentences, what goes on and what they do. Well, if you look at the basic of drifting, the drivers actually have to rely on the car and the tire, and you literally have to let go. If you panic, just like on the street, during, you know, a quick moment, if you panic, that's when you crash. How many tires do you bring to an event? Oh gosh, um, events like this, we only have Pro 1 drivers. We bring about 350 tires. Now when we sometimes have Pro 2 drivers, we might bring up to 500 tires. And we use them all. So here we are walking through the pits. Uh, Chris Fix, of course my man. And of course he's talking to pretty women. So tell me how you got started in drifting and where have you come from day one to today? I got started like any other regular person got started. I literally just wanted to learn the motorsport. So I went out there, I found an inexpensive car, I ended up getting a Mustang, and uh, just started from there. There's a lot of things that go on with your hands, your feet, you know, hitting the clutch, hitting the brake. Being in a certain gear, uh, letting the, the wheel slide through your hands, which is like a weird thing to do. So there's like a lot of dynamics going on in that sense, and tires are actually a huge part of it. I didn't think about it. I thought, okay, you want to get sideways, you want to you slide, get the cheapest tires you could find, get burners, get things that just get out there. Tires, I learned, are very important. You want really nice, grippy tires in the rear. Because, again, you want that control on a slide. My man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, Chris Fix. Have a good one, buddy. Likewise. See ya. My man, Chris Fix. Check him out on YouTube. Drifting's just, it's, you're on the ragged edge and you have to hold it there on the ragged edge. What goes through your mind when you're coming into turn one? Only the turn one. I don't think anything else. What drives you in this sport? What do, what do you get out of it most? What do you like? All the adrenaline, the rush that you get for, for doing a good run. It's always having fun playing with the cars. Right, so the day is winding down, and it, the most interesting thing that I, that I found out is this sport started in like a parking lot, and it's grown to this, and it seems like it's only getting bigger. One of the most important things I've learned today throughout the day is everything eventually boils down to tires. It is the single most important thing that is behind the series. We love simple tires.